Moving on to the next example for continuity, we have to find the constants a and b so that this function f of x is continuous. So notice this is a piecewise function where the y values are defined by 7 minus x when x is less than or equal to negative 1, by ax squared plus bx when x is between negative 1 and 2, and by negative x plus 4 when x is greater than or equal to 2. Now notice how there are two meeting points in this piecewise function. Add an x value of negative 1 and add an x value of 2. So the y values at those meeting points, they have to be equal for all the pieces at those meeting points in order for the function to be continuous. Because notice that any other x values other than those meeting points, the function will be continuous. 7 minus x is just a line. So all the x values that are less than negative 1, function will be continuous there. Once we have constants a and b, uh, ax squared plus bx is just going to be a parabola. So between negative 1 and 2, that's going to be a continuous function as well. And for x values greater than 2, negative x plus 4 is another line, and that's going to be continuous too. So really, all we have to concern ourselves with is those meeting points of negative 1 and positive 2. So let's start off with this x value of negative 1. That's where these two pieces are going to meet. Well, the y value at an x value of negative 1 for this first piece, 7 minus x, if we plug in negative 1 for x, we would get a y value of 8. And the y value for this piece here, if we plug in negative 1 for x, is going to be a minus b because negative 1 squared is 1, so it's like 1a here, and then uh, an x value negative 1 will change this uh, positive into a negative. So we'll have 8 has to equal a minus b. Basically, the y values of these two pieces at that x value negative 1 have to equal. Similarly, at this x value of 2, these two pieces have to equal, the y values of them have to equal. So the y value of this piece at an x value of 2, if we plug in 2 for x, we'd have negative 2 plus 4, which is positive 2. So that's what the y value is of this piece at an x value of 2. And if we plug in an x value of 2 for this piece here, we would end up getting 4a plus 2b. Because 2 squared is 4, and then this uh, 2 here is by itself attached to the b. So now we got two equations, a equals a minus b and 2 equals 4a plus 2b, two equations, two unknowns, and now we can solve for a and b with either substitution or elimination. So then taking this equation and then isolating for a, we would bring the negative b over, so we got a plus b equals a, and then subbing this expression for a here, we'd have 2 equals 4 bracket 8 plus b plus 2b. So then we distribute that 4 in the bracket, we would have 32 plus 4b plus 2b, and that still equals 2. Bring the 32 over, 2 minus 32 is negative 30, and then 4b plus 2b, that gives us 6b. And then divide both sides by 6, so we get a b value of negative 5. And then to solve for the a value, we can just sub it into this equation. So 8 plus that b value of negative 5, we would get an a value of 3. So that there is our answer. Those two constants, a and b, a equals 3, b equals negative 5. If that's what the parabola in the middle piece is, uh, 3x squared minus 5x, then this function is going to be continuous. And you can always quickly check your answer by taking those new constants that you got. And then we have a function now in the middle of 3x squared minus 5x and seeing what the y values at those meeting points would be and whether they would be the same as the y values of the other pieces that we found. So for this first piece here, at an x value of negative 1, we found out that the y value was 8. Well, if we plug in negative 1 into our new piece here, the y value would be 8 as well. So it's continuous at that meeting point. For this piece here, at an x value of 2, the y value that we found was 2. And if we plug in 2 for x in our new middle function, then the y value is also 2. So we know it's continuous at that meeting point as well. 
So overall, not too bad of a question. All you wanna do when you get a question like this is basically make the Y values equal at the certain meeting points and then just solve for your constants with substitution or elimination. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.